guys so it's been over a week since I filmed my last update and I have been wearing the same makeup what I have noticed is that the the little um, what is it called the paint port from MAC is quite creamy so I just started applying it using a, um, a MAC brush so I'm just using this one and um, it is extremely creamy that's quite surprising because I just assumed it would be dry but it's not it's still holding on and um, it holds the color on my lid but I noticed that because I don't use it elsewhere I always end up having this line on camera it looks amazing because I've been having lots of meetings and this color really pops and it's not a look I would have done before because I used to try to really just have color on my um, mobile lid and not really have anything out there on the outside but I have been uh, liking having the, the halo of dark green and um, my quad is going really well this is now completely flat you can see someone is singing whatever but yeah also what I have noticed is that I no longer use a lot of eyebrow products I'm almost always late because it's so intense and so I just this product by itself <laughs> it's actually a guy with a jukebox so I'm just using this thing and um, I would say 90% of the time I don't bother with using an eyebrow product today I only filled a little bit up front but you can see oh my god the discoloration But yeah, um, it's still quite cold and we have, I'm still using heating. I'm wearing this thing which looks like it's summer, but actually it's quite cold and I have the heating blasting. This, this April has been just crazy. But yeah, I just wanted to update you. My project is going in a very weird direction. But funny enough, I have been able to predict almost everything in that project. Like, I would send an email to, to the, the partners on my project before a key meeting, and I would say, this is a heads up, this is what's going to happen. And now we've made it almost a game, in that actually, whenever I write these things, they actually happen, and we have like that knowing look in the middle of the meeting when something happens, and, and I had written it. So I think that although my projects seem to always get more and more challenging Be, I'm, I'm not really bored this is something I have noticed recently I I don't have the most usual like, or like common job and it's not as repetitive which can be a bit uncomfortable because you don't get to see the same thing and see how you improved but I'm, I'm really liking that I'm liking this challenge I completely changed my attitude to how I get you know how I react to the things that come my way and uh, it's been quite uh, quite fun <sighs> yeah I have run out of all shirts everything is not ironed it's gonna be a problem so I would probably start wearing t-shirts or something because I don't have time to film I only now came for this little three minute break because I needed to blot my skin and also put on some perfume it helps me wake up and then now I'm gonna go and continue working I have a very intense day ahead I've given my landlord notice that I will be leaving my apartment at the end of this current lease um, so I have to move in six weeks the complicating factor is that I did not start searching because I have been crazy busy at work and actually as of Monday I'm going to be doing two projects in parallel um, one of them I already started and I have been working on it and it's quite intense and the other one is also going to be crazy intense but I'm the only one able to deliver it and that is a bit the problem uh, we have we have a couple of these projects where I'm the only one able to do it we thought about it very hard and then came down to the conclusion that I would have to do both um, which I wasn't super happy about because I, I, I was hoping we would push at least by a few more weeks but anyway and even when I finish the one that I'm currently doing I would probably end up having to add another one because it's another one of those projects that I'm the only one who, who can do so I have been extremely tired and I didn't have a chance to start looking for places 
The second complication is that um, my my visa is expiring for the UK, so we have something like a, a biometric residence permit. So when you come, um, you first have a visa on your passport, and then you get a, a card afterwards that is the document you used to be in the country. Mine is expiring in in a few weeks, I think four weeks or so, yeah, four or five weeks. And I started the process of renewing it many, many weeks ago. And I only managed to get a visa appointment for two weeks from now. And I submitted everything, like the process is underway, but for them to take my, my print, it's in two weeks. And then after that, I have no idea how long it's going to take until I receive my new BRP and that might be an issue for me getting a new flat because some people might think that what if I don't get it which I completely understand but I just decided to tackle one issue at a time and so for now I'm just going to focus on surviving the next five six weeks of doing the two projects in parallel and then also trying to see how to best get ready for my move so I do have some empties that I wanted to share with you and uh, I thought I would be just filming one video a week uh, so that it helps kind of like a diary. Uh, so this is today's video and um, I'll show you the progress in my search. So first let me fetch my empties and also show you a few things that I have bought because I did not catch up with you in almost six weeks so there are a lot of things that I just put around. So let me get my empties. I put them typically in this little basket under my Fort Norman base in, in, in Mason's basket. So I'll get this one, see. Ooh. Alright, so let's see what we have. This is my box. First thing I finished is this Mitchum um, deodorant, nothing exciting, but I got a, I got a few deodorants that are spray deodorants and I am using them. And then recently I was talking to my sister and she mentioned that she's been using a natural salt, um, an alum salt deodorant, which I used to use in Morocco, but then I think that it didn't work. She said she's been using this one for months, so I ended up buying it. It's called Salt of the Earth. I bought the one that is plastic free and it's just a, a little uh, stone I will show you in my bathroom. Um, so I gave it a try once and it, it worked. I think but I will I will um, I will first finish all my over all of my spray deodorants and then switch to this so I'm going to be using it in non dangerous situations I would be using it whenever I'm working from home or on a weekend or something like that I wouldn't wear it to the office or client meetings until I am actually a hundred percent sure that it works so that is that is one of the recent purchases I made. Then this focus and energy organic maca food maca root food supplement. This is a, something that I bought when I was extremely tired, and I would just add it to my breakfast in the morning as a, as one of those supplements. I think uh, bizarrely, I think that in the mornings where I had this in my in my uh, porridge and uh, not porridge in my granola, I did feel actually extra energy. And I'm not sure whether it was psychological or not, but I could definitely tell when on the days where I had that. So maybe it's just, it actually works. What I'm trying to do right now is also uh, finish some of what I have in my kitchen. Because whenever I am extremely busy at work, I have a tendency to go and, and buy things um, with the false hope that, I'm, that I have enough food. And then actually I realize that I don't cook things or things just accumulate, etc, etc. So I will have to be a bit more careful about finishing some of the stuff because if I'm moving in six weeks, I don't want to be carrying 30 half empty bottles. Because I'm using the Mayle Lindstrom moisturizer, the blue cocoon at night, I like to emulsify it with some water. So I had finished the water that I, that I had. Let me just remove this. Um, and this was a travel size zero zinc that I had from La Roche Posay that I bought a couple of years ago, and I decided to just finish it. So that was that was um, 
uh, a spray that I typically buy. I didn't have any other backup, so I tried to repurchase it, and my order got lost. So that's that for you. Besides that, when I finished this, I had also the Caudalie Haute Beauté Beauty Elixir. So this is a very cult classic from um, Caudalie. It smells almost of lemongrass. I really like it. It has some essential oils. Um, it's quite, it's quite refreshing actually to use, but it's 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 rather expensive. I have a friend who put me on that many 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 years ago. I blame her, but. Um, yeah, I don't think I see a difference in my skin when I use it, but it just feels so indulgent just because of the nice smell. So I did not repurchase this. Instead, I also had a, a bottle of Evian spray water that was in my office. And I recently went to my office just to have a look at some stuff and I found it in my drawer, so I brought it home so that I could use it. Again, I'm just trying to make sure that I don't buy unnecessary things that I will have to log with me uh, very shortly. Then another skincare product I have is this the ordinary glycolic acid solution. I just it's mucky, so it's clearly expired. That is one thing that um, I stopped doing because many years ago I used to buy doubles and triples of things um, as a habit because when I lived in Morocco I didn't necessarily have access to a lot of the products and so me traveling abroad and having access to something meant that I, it was my opportunity to uh, to get my backups for the year. I, I very very slowly stopped doing that but this is a remnant of that phase um, so yeah I stopped buying triple things. Distilled Witch Hazel, this is not finished but essentially, I, I transferred it into a, a, a cuter bottle um, just because I felt like having more harmony since I'm about to move. I want my new place to be very harmonious and I'm going to try and minimize anything jarring and colorful, etc. Uh, like all that assault on your cell senses. It's very inexpensive from Boots. It's usually a couple pounds to three pounds, I guess. Um, this is an Aesop Blue Chamomile Facial Hydrating Mask and um, it's a very light blue, very soft, but for some reason, uh, I'm not sure why in, on my skin it just felt like it was almost spicy, it felt almost, not tingly, but almost like it had a little bit of acid. And I know that this is not meant to feel that way, but nonetheless, I finished it. It took me quite a lot of uses because the, although it's a very tiny tube, I only used a little bit because of that sensation. It was especially here, like around the cheeks. I'm, I'm not sure, but this mask just didn't work for me. I didn't necessarily feel that it made any difference in my skin. Uh, Sebia Clear Gel Moussant by SVR. So this is a, this is a foaming gel. Um, and it was just around the, the time when I was trying to finish some of my cleansers. I have nothing to say about that. I wouldn't recommend it. I didn't like it. Nah. Finish one more little pot of Natalia's uh, um, cleansing balm. Her brand is called Quantum Botanica. And um, recently I opened another one of these and I realized that it was all white. Uh, and uh, started to smell a bit rancid. So I think because it is a sample, uh, it doesn't have as much of a stable shelf, shelf life as the, the full size and so I decided to to use the samples a bit more because at some point I was thinking maybe I would save them for later because I had already used, uh, this is my third one of these but I, I, I just decided that I'm just going to, going to continue using the, the other two um, cleansers so that I don't have to to carry that with me and also I don't want it to go bad like right now it does have a little bit of a rancid smell but it's not gone bad it's just more because it's oil based and then I have this Flormar Super Matte uh, Nail Enamel so it's just a, a varnish it's ha it has gone gloopy even if I kept adding all of those um, like I have these drops from Mavala that you add and normally they, they fix your nail polish but this is just too old. I've had it for many, many years. They, uh, there, are, there is a trick where people say if you put it in the fridge, then you would, um, it wouldn't go hard. But I have uh, retinol drops in my fridge, and since I've put them there, I've never been able to use them just because I, I, I just can't get myself to do that. So um, 
yeah, having beauty products in the fridge is not for me. Then I have this hand cream, it's from Clavas, just very simple hand cream, it was a sample. My uh, Muji blotting papers, I learned something very, very interesting. Um, so I was, I went to have a facial with Natalia. And when she saw me, she said, your skin has never been this oily. And I said, you know, but it's always like that, especially, especially like after big meetings and things like that. And on work days, and then we came to the conclusion, and, and we said, and when I wake up in the morning, it's actually never oily. When I wake up in the morning, it's pretty, like, dry. And we came to the conclusion that it was because of my um, uh, brain activity, my neurological system. So the thing is, when I'm working, because of the nature of work that I do, because it's so, it's so involved and I have to think too much, I actually sweat. For instance, if I'm doing if I'm doing um, a workshop, I will actually sweat during that workshop. Anything that involves me being fully focused, I tend my body temperature rises and I sweat. The equivalent of that is my skin getting greasy. So because for the past uh, few years, when whenever I went to Natalia, I used to go on weekends. I wouldn't have any cerebral activity. I wouldn't actually be working. So she saw my skin the same way that it looks like now. And because the last two appointments that I had, it was after work, because I'm working from home and she lives in Chelsea, um, it was right after I, I, I finished meetings and things like that and I was literally dripping in oil. And, and I never ever thought about it and then the moment, the moment we, because we were investigating that, I started paying attention and I realized it's true. If I have a light day, you wouldn't tell on my face. If I have a very tough meeting, I immediately get shiny. And so that's why I kind of uh, always have blotting sheets in front of my desk uh, at, um, for, for working and also at work. But that was a very, very interesting thing about the human body. I, I, I would have never guessed it. It was quite interesting. Then I have this Curlade Moisture Butter that I have finished. Um, I'm trying to finish anything that is in a big pot. And I have made my own uh, whipped shea butter because one of you had commented uh, several weeks ago, actually, I was talking about how my skin is, is very dry. And one of you commented that I should use shea butter on it and my answer was, I, I really can't stand the smell, which is still valid. But that planted the seed in my head. So while I would not be able to use Rocher butter on my skin, I still bought it and, 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 and decided that I would use it maybe once a month or so to moisturize my hair. Because as you guys know, I'm extremely lazy when it comes to my hair. And so I made my own whipped shea butter, shea butter. I added a few things to make it smell good. So that's nice. Uh, and I would be using that on my head. So that's what I have in here. And, oh yeah, I have also, I have this Margaret Dabbs um, foot cream. It's called the Foot Hygiene Cream. I finished this. Uh, this is my second tub of it. You don't need much, but I've had it for a while. And also I had uh, my second foot surgery. It went well. Um, it's still quite painful. It's still quite swollen. But I, I'm glad I'm, I'm, I'm making progress on that because, you know, anything musculoskeletal is like a chain reaction and you have to, to, to fix so many things. Um, and it's quite daunting. It's quite daunting when you have to, you fix something and then you realize you have something else and blah, 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 blah. But, you know, um, I did my second foot surgery. It was, was a, quite a hassle. Um... But anyway, I, I, I had to extra moisturize my skin because after getting the surgery, my skin was even drier than, than, than usual and especially on my feet. But that's something that I get as a reaction from anesthesia. So like my whole skin was cracking. But anyway, I finished this and I had the small travel size of, of the same cream. So I immediately started using it. I'm a bit halfway through it. And uh, I recently uh, went and gotten my medical pedicure to check because I have to do it with a podiatrist. Um, and uh, while I was there, I ended up buying this uh, foot oil also from them. I don't like it as much as the cream, but I have that. 
and then um, to replace this whenever it finishes I went through my bathroom and I found that I had this thing called Heal Genius by Soap and Glory so um, I also have started using it every now and then because this is this is quite greasy you're not meant to use it every night and this is a little bit lighter so I would alternate and these are the the creams that I have right now on rotation which is quite important for me um, after the surgery so that I don't have calluses or anything like that because as my foot heals the point of pressure and point of of impact keeps changing uh, as the shape is, is, is deflating then this tweezers was a quite a was quite a roller coaster so in the same order where i had ordered this i ordered tweezers and they never came and um my old tweezerman tweezers no longer picked hair because i destroyed them i used them to remove the stopper from this um concealer this is born this way multi-use sculpting concealer i've had this concealer for a while but i use you know the faintest dot every day which means that when when I could no longer get stuff from it the the when it has a stopper here is here is a darker color to show you that see it has a stopper inside but because I only need a dot whatever was left in there would be enough for me for several months and so I had to remove the stopper and I used my twe my mini tweezer which killed it and so that's why I had to buy other tweezers but they wouldn't come and so when I gave up I eventually went to Boots and I bought another tweezerman because for me these are the best in the world it's stainless steel and this one is colored raw gold not that I care but it was a recent purchase and the last thing I purchased um, beauty wise was this Simbrite moisturizer by the Inky List I've never bought anything from the, from the Inky List it's just that I was at Boots really really determined to buy the tweezers because I had one hair here I had this one random hair on my chin and I don't know whether it's my childhood or whatever but I just was thinking it makes me look like a witch it wasn't long I was the only one who could see it but I had one hair and so and I, I, I and I just yeah so I needed my tweezer and and while I was at Boots I was looking uh, many times for moisturizers and I ended up getting this one so yeah I also finished this quarterly uh, lip balm it's completely finished but I'm I'm digging it with my nails because I'm ratchet like that and it's a really good product I've, I've been using this for a long time I already have a second one that is ready to go I, I always have one of these in backup so highly highly recommend it so this is what has been happening in the beauty segment um, clothing wise I got this little top from Cezanne if you can see it I think it's quite cute didn't get to wear it yet I also got this top also from Cezanne and this from Amanda Wakely um, this is the Cezanne thing I thought I'd show you in my bathroom a little bit of a progress check um, so remember the curlade from um, Camille Rose I took I kept the packaging and I just removed the sticker because it was a annoying pink and I put in here my shea butter so when I, when I move to my next place I don't want to have unnecessary packaging uh, because these things are just annoying like when you have something so pink that's my Avion water from the office uh, that I brought and when I finish it, I will I will probably repurchase the Ciro Zinc, the blue bottle that I showed you earlier in my empties. Uh, that's the rock deodorant that my sister highly recommended. And this is a primer slash moisturizer by Smashbox. So when I was trying to find a moisturizer to use, as I was doing my search, I ended up just using whatever I had anyway in my cupboard. And I had this. So I, that's what I had been using until I ended up buying this one from the Inky List uh, just a couple of days ago. And that's the cleanser from Natalia. I will show you it has gone a bit whitish. That's what I was talking about. But um, I'm going to continue using it for the next few weeks. I'll probably finish it before I move. And I have another jar of it all in there that is hiding. I moved my witch hazel that I showed you into this Easter box like bottle I can't get my words right today I'm so tired um, 
and then when I was at Boots I ended up buying the top coat for this nail polish you know how, how much I love this red nail polish and right now I'm wearing this one it's the TLC by by Essie but it's not as uh, long lasting as this one not as vibrant so but that is essentially how my little beauty cupboard looks and I think in the next week I will show you maybe five or six more empties because I do have quite a few things that are right now at the end of their of their life uh, I just keep them around here actually but um I think in a few in a few days I will finish them because I want to keep that as more of a of an ongoing theme um these are my shoes so um, I have these shoes from churches I do not recommend them at all they look unbelievably cute on the foot but they are extremely uncomfortable I bought them last summer and I really regret it because whenever I uh, wherever I walk they just make the most horrible uh, squeaky noise and like really bad squeaking not a cute way um, whether it's on uh, like wood or carpet in the street even my colleagues have commented on it and so unfortunately I tried everything I tried like putting talcum powder I tried trying to soften them nothing they killed my feet because my feet are super soft and at the same time they just are unbearable so unfortunately I would have to get rid of these uh, even though they didn't finish a year which is a really 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 upsetting but anyway then I have my trusty Gucci which I have had for over five, four years like I think close to five years yes so um, for shoes that lasted four and a half years when they only made of rubber these are the best purchase I have ever made to be honest I absolutely love them obviously now that I've had my um, foot surgery I can no longer wear the very old uh, shoes because they morph to your foot etc but I um, highly recommend these yeah, I just I don't I'm, I'm I'm still hesitating. I'm not sure whether I'm willing to invest as much in in shoes again. So I recently bought these from Cezanne. They are roughly the same size as my as my church's shoes, but um, they still feel a little bit um, um, bigger on my foot. And I'm going to buy an insole from Birkenstock so that I can I can walk in them comfortably. So I'm going to try and find that this afternoon. But these Cezanne ones are going to replace. Uh, my very very old Gucci and my failure of a purchase from churches yeah so there is nothing else I wanted to show you I think this is how it's going we are at six weeks before I move I need to regain my energy and I need to make sure that I know where, what everything where everything is so right now I'm just I just need to to continue organizing my stuff and uh, get ready to go out at some point get some sun in my face and that is that